Of a haze problem in Malaysia has improved today with fewer regions recording unhealthy air quality. But officials are preparing more measures should the situation worsen. Plans are in place to make rain by seeding clouds. Authorities say they will close schools if the air pollution index exceeds 200 and enters the unhealthy range. Authorities say the haze is coming from forests and land fires in Indonesia. But Jakarta has rejected that, saying it has not detected any smoke drifting over its borders into Malaysia. Farmers in Indonesia burn land during the annual dry season to make way for palm oil plantations. And for more CNA's Melissa Goh joins us live from Kuala Lumpur. Melissa, you caught up with Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim on the sidelines of the Kazana conference. What did he have to say about this haze? Well, Prime Minister Anwar said Malaysia is currently closely monitoring the situation. In fact, the issue of a haze and its impact uh, will be discussed, he said, at the weekly cabinet meeting uh, tomorrow, adding that he wants a full report uh, from the relevant ministry and the agencies. Now, of course, Malaysia cannot resolve this problem alone. The issue of transboundary haze requires a regional effort and cooperation of its neighbours. Now, let's take a listen. I think the Minister of Environment has been um, uh, instructed to coordinate with our colleagues, his colleague in Indonesia. Now, earlier, uh, the Environment uh, Minister, uh, Nick Nazmi, Nick Ahmad, uh, speaking to local TV, Astro Awani, put it very clearly that the haze that's currently affecting the country did not originate Malaysia, but from neighboring country. Now, uh, the ministry he said, has written to Malaysia plantation companies situated in Indonesia as early as a few months ago, informing them to take precaution uh, during the hot and dry spell. Uh, he also told uh, Indonesian authorities that if any of the Malaysian companies are caught flouting the law and conducting open burning and so on, please bring them to book the responsibilities that lies with the Indonesian enforcement authorities. Now, the haze can be a thorny issue plaguing diplomatic relations. Um, Minister Nick Nazmi said that, you know, they will continue to use diplomatic channel and ASEAN platform uh, to resolve this, adding that given that the current hot and dry spell with the El Nino effect prevailing, the haze menace is likely to persist for another one or two weeks at least. Melissa, given that this is likely a transboundary, as you say, issue, authorities can only do so much, but we've already mentioned they might actually see clouds or they might have to shut schools to keep children safe. How do people feel about these measures, given that that is all that authorities probably can do at this point? Well, for starters, uh, the public is advised to reduce or cut down all outdoors activities, wear face masks if they are out and about, and stay hydrated as much as possible. Uh, there's been no closure of schools so far. The Education Ministry's uh, standing directive is schools will only be closed if the air pollutant index exceeds 200. That's a very unhealthy level. Now, schools are told to cease all outdoor activities if the areas that they are in, in air quality is poor, is unhealthy. Now, so far, only two places in Malaysia are registering unhealthy uh, level. That's Cheras in Kuala Lumpur and Nila in Negeri Sembilan. Now, the authorities have also stepped up surveillance. Anyone caught conducting open burning can be fined up to half a million ringgit. That's over 100,000 US dollars or face up to five years imprisonment. Now, the public is also told to play their part, inform authorities if there's any open burning in their areas. Now, many of Malaysians that I spoke with, they are quite worried if the haze were to worsen because of the phobia in the past when haze shrouded for weeks and the health hazard not not to mention the economic cost. Let's take a listen. I think like it's going to affect our health. It's part and possible of uh, urbanization, I guess. If we have more trees, then maybe this will be a lesser issue. Maybe we need to you know, be more aware and plant more trees, basically. Yeah. Naturally, at my age, I think it will have some effect, especially breathing. Oh, thanks, that Melissa Go reporting live to us there from Kuala Lumpur.